Hey, how's it going guys? Chris here with another one of those Battlefield 1 weapon guides. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking all about the Gasser M1870, which you'll be able to find under the Assault class as a sidearm. So, around about 150 years ago, back in the late 1860s, the Austrian army had just lost the Seven Week War against the Prussians, which sparked a bit of interest in updating their arsenal with a brand new handgun, in the form of a modern revolver. Along came Leopold Gasser, who came up with a very simple looking double action open frame design, which despite looking like a steampunk wet dream, was actually a fresh concept, as a lot of the revolvers back then functioned using a single action, where the user would have to manually cock the hammer after every shot themselves. Not only was this said revolver a double action, but it was also a bit of a beast, as it fired an 11.3x36mm black powder cartridge, which isn't really all that different to a 44 Magnum. Firing such a huge round meant that the gun itself would need to be pretty big too. And it definitely was, as the Gasser Model 1870 was one of the largest, heavier revolvers around at the time. From 1870, the gun was sold to the Austrian army, and adopted by the Austro-Hungarian cavalry as a service revolver. Though they were also bought by several different military forces, the Gassers also so well amongst the public too. And due to how successful they were, other weapon manufacturers actually copied the Gasser's design and made fake versions of the gun. By the time of World War I, the Gasser revolvers had been around for quite a while, and newer pistols such as the Steyr hand started to replace them. But even though they were a bit old fashioned, some Austrian troops still preferred to use the Gasser revolvers, down to them having such incredible stopping power. So, with the history lesson over, it's time to see what kind of monster the M1870 is in Battlefield 1. Starting off with the damage first, the gas has got a maximum of 53 up to 40 meters, which will remain above 50 up to 22 meters, but then suddenly drop down from here to just 21 damage beyond 38 meters. So basically, the gas is going to pack one hell of a punch, as it's got some ridiculously good damage over range, especially when compared to most of the other revolvers. It can retain a 2 bullet kill right the way up to 22 meters, which could take up to 4 bullets with some of the other revolvers like the Bulldog, the Auto and the Number 3. Plus it can also kill any maximum of 5 bullets at long distances, unlike any of the others. This means that it can kill far more consistently beyond those point blank ranges, as you'll usually be able to take down an opponent in less bullets, which is always a good thing. The gas has already got a pretty strong kill time in CQC, and this extra range means that it's going to outperform pretty much all of the other sidearms, and most of the primary weapons in fact, when it's used slightly further away too. As a bit of a trade-off, the gun fires at a slower rate than most of the other secondaries, shooting at a speed of 180 RPM, making it the second slowest firing sidearm in the game, just above the number 3 revolver. Being a slower firing weapon, this means that missing shots is going to be more punishing, and although it's capable of killing in less bullets at range, you'll still be at a slight disadvantage when you're in those closer proximities. With that said, the gasser can still kill quicker than all of the semi-automatic pistols in CQC, so it's still a very powerful gun here, but there's probably going to be a bit more pressure to land shots properly. If you like to hip fire the revolvers a lot, then the gasser's actually got a unique feature which allows it to fire automatically, and this can be done by simply holding down the trigger whilst firing from the hip. This is a good way to guarantee that its maximum fire rate is going to be reached, though it's not really the best thing to do all the time, as it's usually better to just place individual shots to make sure that you're bang on target. Though it can be a useful little thing to know if you take it on someone who's getting right up in your face. But along with it having a fairly slow fire rate, the gasser also has a very slow deploy time of 0.65 seconds, which is the longest of the lot. This is generally going to make it a less effective weapon for switching over to for taking someone on. Though because it can deal such a high damage, you'll more often than not be able to finish off a weakened player in a single round, which sort of balances it out a bit. With a horizontal figure of 1 and a vertical figure of 6, this tells us that the gasser is going to jump upwards a lot after each pull of the trigger, making it less stable. Its horizontal recoil is on par with the other revolvers, so it's still going to be just as accurate. But because the gasser kicks like a mule, you might need to reacquire a target for consecutive hits, which can often make it slightly harder to land follow up shots successfully. Now unfortunately, I've saved the gasser's biggest problem till the end. Because you have to eject and reload each cartridge individually, this makes reloading the gun an absolute pain in the arse. Taking around about 8.5 seconds to reload the gun from empty, this is going to seem like an eternity, and when you're running around in the thick of the action, you'll often need to be smart about how you utilise cover when reloading, and seat down safe areas to literally hide whilst the gasser does its thing. If you bump into an enemy whilst running the reload, then you're basically a dead man, which makes the gun an even riskier sidearm to use on its own. 
But anyway, overall, the Gasser M1870 is a weapon that heavily relies on skill for it to perform well. Its extremely powerful damage over range gives it a huge advantage over most of the other secondary and even primary weapons. Though that slower fire rate will often make landing shots all the more important, and the fact that it has a higher kick than the other revolvers can sometimes make this a harder thing to do. Having a very slow deploy time and an extremely slow reload doesn't make life any easier either. Though despite having a lot of negative factors, that sheer power alone can be a good enough reason to use the gasser, and in the hands of an accurate player at close to medium ranges, the gun can dominate in firefights and prove to be a serious force to contend with. So that's just about it for another one guys, give me a like if you enjoyed the video, and of course subscribe for loads more in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you in that next one.